Howdy partners, this is Kiram with Clear Imaging and today we're taking a look at a bakery, alessibakery.com. We're gonna see how good its search engine optimizations are and see what we could do, what we could suggest to improve it and get it rolling up further in the Google. Okay, boys and girls, first things first, we wanna press Control U on the keyboard. Bam, take a look under the hood, open up the source, dive into the matrix. I'm looking for the title, and here's the title right here. All right, this is called a tag, because it's got a front and an end. It's like a little label, right? And this is the contents. And we actually see it right here. All right, that's the title of a website. It's a WordPress website, so we're gonna have some problems with that. So long story short, this title is not optimized. It's actually a pretty bad error. You never want to put home in your title. You want to, <laughs> you're not trying to rank in number one on Google for the search home or home page. So there's no sense putting that there. The whole purpose of the title is to tell Google what the page is about. And it has the most weight when considering all the optimizations you could be doing. So uh, I'll repeat, it has the most potence than any other search optimization you can make on your page. It has to be done very correctly. So yes, you want to put your company name and then you want to put your main keyword search. So in this case, it could be professional catering company, something like that. Professional catering uh, and baking, something along that line, and then Tampa, Florida. So company name, keyword phrase, location. That's how you do a good title. And let's check some inside pages. Let's go to catering, catering, yeah. So this is the title for this page and it's not optimized enough. We need to at least throw in their local area. So Tampa, Florida, and again, like what kind of catering they should touch on that they've got cakes, sandwiches, and um, that sort of thing in the title. This title needs to describe the contents of the page, all right? So that's one thing. I'm gonna assume that all their pages are not done correctly. Yeah, there you go. They're just putting one keyword in the company name. And again, one keyword in company name. So all the titles need to be redone. That would be the first thing I would do. So back to the home page. We're here, we're gonna scroll down a bit. I see, um, I see some text, pretty good. Um, as far as how much text should be on your pages, you should go for 500 minimum. 1,000 is better, but on the home page, I understand it might be hard to, to jam 1,000 words in there, but you don't want to have anything less than 500 words per page because Google is basically trying to judge your website according to the unique text that's on it. And if a page only has this much text, for instance, Google is going to think, oh, this page doesn't have a whole lot of importance. I don't really... I can't really confirm what it's about, so I'm going to not give it a whole lot of value. So don't do that. Put lots of text on your pages, and the text needs to be original, all right? Not copied from anywhere else, and it needs to be useful. So quality, not just a bunch of keywords in a big block, all right? Not just a paragraph of keywords. It has to be actually useful. Other things to take a look at um, are headings on the home page. If we go back to source, press Control F, type in H1. They have eight heading ones, all right, which is an error. That's an SEO don't. See all these H1s? Let's try and locate them. Yeah, I think all of these are heading ones in the code. So the idea is with SEO, you only wanna have one heading one per page. And the heading one is the main heading for the whole page. And then you want subheadings, but they're using the main heading repeatedly. And you don't want to do that. Only one heading one per page. Then you need to use heading twos and heading threes instead. All right. So that's this kind of looks like um, a tactic that they're trying to get lots of attention from Google by using the main heading over and over and over. So instead they should use subheadings over and over. All right. That's a that's definitely something I would correct. So we've got some errors here for sure. 
A couple things I took a look at. Google page speed, dismal, all right. It doesn't mean the site is slow, it does, it, but it does mean that it's a WordPress site, so therefore it's basically garbage as far as how it's coded and its performance. But speed-wise, it's, it's a bit slow. You want this under five seconds, under three seconds, ideally. So it could be sped up a bit, but again, it's a WordPress site, so they're slow and clunky, and they're not coded towards Google specifications, as you can see. Uh, the site is mobile friendly, although this, this rendering is a bit wonky. Uh, we get a better rendering over here. So if your site is slow, the reason I'm showing you this is if your site is slow, then you're going to get a hit in Google. You get a penalization. If your site is not mobile friendly, you also get a penalization. Right? Other things, if you didn't have this nice security certificate, you would get a little penalization there. But those, are, those aren't huge items, but they need to be done. SEO is all about doing 100 different things that give you a 1% lead. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the idea with SEO. Doing lots of optimizations that build upon each other and eventually you're able to move the needle. Another thing is this website doesn't have enough content generally. It has eight pages perhaps, right? It's got eight pages and some of them have a decent amount of text like their catering page has a lot of text on it, but not a lot of content on this site. So when Google is looking through it, it's seeing a very empty site with lots of pictures and just little things like this. What they really need to do, they need to, that looks like the Disney W. Hmm. Uh, what they need to do is they need to get a blog going so they can compensate for the fact that they're lacking so much text. And then they can really rock and roll with their SEO and start moving up in the Google, get a blog going over here, and then every week, 500 unique words. There's quite a bit they could write about. They can write about new trends in food and in, in nutrition. You know, um, as long as it's staying on food-ish topics, there's, you know, there's quite a bit you could write about. You don't want to go too far afield and start writing about medicine necessarily. Like, but you can get into nutrition a little bit into health, food, um, festivities, seasonal things. They can even go so far as to post their recipes if they would be willing to part with them. But what they need is that blog section to create that content continuously. Because if you want to dominate in Google, you need to make more content than your competitors. That's one of the ways a small business can dominate with local search on Google, is more content than their competitors. There's other things, but this is the most straightforward for a small business. So you have to get creative and commit to it. You gotta to commit to creating that content every week or just hire somebody or hire somebody like us and we can create the content, take it off your plate. So that would be the strategy because Google doesn't put you at the top if you're doing the bare minimum, all right? It's like a race, SEO, and as long as you're doing more than everyone else, you're probably going to rank higher than everyone else. You can't just add five pages, for instance, like we have seven pages here. If they did, okay, well, we're going to add five pages in 2020. Yeah, we're, we, we've done our SEO for the year. Not true. You need to think of a page a week, honestly. That's the estimation of effort. So there's other things as well, like getting Google reviews is also very important for your rank on the Google. So creating that content and then getting reviews um, those two actions together, a one-two punch, will really help you rock and roll in local search. And that just about does it. Definitely apply what we talked about today on your website. If you had any of these points missing that we just went over, you've got to rectify those ASAP so you can start getting out of the negative and getting into the positive and start getting some love from the Google. Okay, now if you want your website to be properly optimized, come on down to clearimaging.com, clearimaging.com. Come on over to the contact page and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. We design wicked websites. We've been at it for two decades. Very few have been around that long. We are original gangsters, help tons of American companies, and we do very good ethical SEO. That's why we've been around for so long. So come on down and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Until then, see you next time.